What's up everyone, I hope you're all good. Today is Monday, June the 7th, and it's also one week into my aggressive cutting phase for summer. If you watched the last video, I'm actually doing a six week aggressive cut. So I've just weighed myself this morning, and I'm actually down four and a half pounds in one week. I did tell you that I was going aggressive with this. A healthy weight loss would be around one to two pounds per week, but we're going aggressive, we're going aggressive. It's a short cutting phase. Woke up this morning and I felt lighter. I was like, whoa, <laughs> I'm definitely lighter. So this is actually my new, it's the lowest weigh-in of the year for me. So I'm very happy with that. Four and a half pounds, can't complain, but I'm actually about to check in now with my coach and we'll see what he thinks. I also send my coach some progress photos each week. It's quite funny this morning. My girlfriend usually takes them, but she was still in bed. But my son, my three-year-old son was up. So I was like, Teddy, do you want to take photos of daddy? <laughs> so he actually took my progress photos this morning. I'm going to put it up on the screen. Not a bad job, fair play. He's only three. Yeah, super cute. So how it works with my coach, I check in with him every Monday via a video. I actually create him a video telling him all the data from the week, um, every weigh-in, how um, much steps I've done, how much cardio I've done, how I'm feeling, um, I talk about my training, um, everything. And then he replies with a, a video response. So yeah, I'm about to do that now. What's up AJ, hope you're good. So here is today's check-in. So it's been a very, very good week for me in terms of weight loss. I've actually lost four and a half pounds since last Monday, which is just crazy. Um, training has been really, really, really good. Um, nutrition has been more or less on point. Okay, so check-in's done, now it's time to go to work. Okay, so we just arrived at Muscle Morph. Bird has shat all over my car. Pleasant. Anyway, guys, on the way here, I was thinking about the weekend because the weekend's just been, and a lot of people tend to go off the diets of the weekend because, well, they're doing social stuff, you know? Um, anyway, I thought I would touch on how you can stay on track on your diet over the weekend. So I'll get more into that a little later into the video, but first, let's go in on today's leg day. Hello matey, good morning. Thank you very much for your check-in for this week. Hopefully having a great Monday so far, enjoying the weather. So this week, what a week, good man. Good start to the diet, down from 190 pounds pretty much, well 189 to 184. So a big, big drop mate. And you know, that's like five, five, almost six pounds off. Uh, from from the start weight of this phase. So you've done a, a, cr a cracking job, mate. Just had a really good video response from AJ. He's really happy with everything. So there's no changes. We're just gonna keep everything the same and just repeat the week and hopefully get the same, the same results as we've had this week. So I'm about to go train legs now. Just got my muscle muff EAAs ready for the workout.
never kiss the rain Ice runs in my veins We'll play it safe I don't belong with your nobility Who died and made you king of anything? You think that I'm insane? It's your mistake legs then I had a really decent workout especially with the belt squats I've been doing that at the beginning of my leg sessions and it's been really taxing on me I've actually haven't been able to finish my leg sessions when I start off with the belt squat because I go really heavy and it really takes the energy out of me so I actually moved it from work uh, from exercise one to the last exercise in today's session and yeah, it felt so much better. I, did, I went a little bit lighter than I would usually, but it was it, it was a great finisher for leg day. And I think I'll leave it um, to the end of the leg session from now on. So I'm just having my post-workout meal now, which is going to be a muscle morph, 100% whey protein isolate, strawberry flavor, and as well as a couple of packets of oats. I'm really into these ones at the moment. It's the Sultanas, Raisins, Cranberry and Apple Quaker Oats. And I sprinkle a bit of salt on top of it. So yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next clip. Okay then, the whiteboard is out and everything. I really hope you can see it. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, I was going to talk about how to keep on track with your diet over the weekend. So you've been good all week, you're on point with your training, you're on point with your nutrition, and then the weekend comes along. One of your mates asks you, do you wanna go for a pint? One pint turns to five pints, five pints turns to 10, then you go for a takeaway. Or maybe you're a dad like me and your family wants to go out and do social stuff. And when you go out and do social stuff, it usually involves food, okay? And you just go off track over the weekend and it kind of cancels all the good you've done throughout the week. So I wanted to show you a hack that you can incorporate that gives you a little more freedom on the weekend. So this will work really, really well for someone who is more social or likes to go out and do stuff on the weekend. So it's called banking your calories. So let's just say for you to be in a calorie deficit, for example, you had to eat 2000 calories a day. So if you eat 2,000 calories a day, every single day, at the end of the week, you'd be eating 14,000 calories. And that puts you in a deficit for weight loss, okay? So how banking your calories would work is, instead of eating 2,000 calories throughout the week days, you'd save some of those calories. So you'd be eating less, so for example, what I put here is eating 1,800 calories throughout the week would then mean that you've saved 1,000 calories, extra calories for the weekend, okay? So you could cut that in half and add 500 extra calories on Saturday and 500 extra calories 
on Sunday, which would mean you'd have 2,500 calories Saturday and Sunday. Or if you just want one day of really high food, you could just put that 1,000 calories on one day. For example, on Saturday, you could eat 3,000 calories. Okay, so I, what I put here is 1,800 calories throughout the week and then 2,500 on Saturday and Sunday. Sorry, I'm backtracking, but there you go. Um, but if you add it all up in the end, you're still only eating 14,000 calories. So you're still in the calorie deficit, but it gives you more freedom to enjoy the weekend. So that's my diet hack. So if you want to go out and do stuff on the weekend, bank some calories throughout the week. So you've got a little bit more room and freedom to enjoy the weekend. So I hope this tip has helped you guys. If it has, then please press a like on the video. Um, any questions, put it in the comment section. I'm pretty good at answering people back. So yeah, thanks for listening, I guess. <laughs> closer, 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 closer. Just doing Stairmaster now. I call it the stairway to hell because it's not easy. And it's red, red, same colour as hell. Doing 35 minutes on this every day. Um, same as last week, nothing's changed. Yeah, so get this done, then we'll need to box off the last remaining steps. I've only done 4,000 steps today. Need to get 10,000. We'll get it then, we'll get it then. Just out on the evening stroll, getting the last of the steps in. I've got just under 2,000 steps left to do. Sorry if I'm squinting, the sun is really in my in my eyes. Oh, look, a swan. Bit of wildlife for you guys. Oh, got some Canadian geese over there. When you live in a place like I do in North Wales, you really don't mind going out to do some steps. It's actually, it's actually a pleasure to be doing it. So um, yeah, gonna get the last of the steps in. It's a, quite a lot to do, because um, I was just thinking about it, walking earlier. I train for nearly two hours a day. I'm on the Stairmaster for 35 minutes, and then in the evening I have to go out for like 30 to 45 minute walks as well. Um, it's a lot of time out of your day, isn't it? Um, but you know you have to do what you have to do to get into the shape that you want to get in um, but I, I watched a video about myself the other day on on YouTube this guy called dad bod fitness made a video about me about my uh, dad bod transformation saying if it's legit or not and you know he he was like yeah definitely legit but he also talked about um, how I'm not genetically gifted and I'm not blessed with like really good muscle insertions and I totally agree with him. I am not genetically gifted, you know. Um, I've got a really slow metabolism, thanks mum and dad. Um, I really have to watch what I eat if I want to get in decent shape and I really have to do a lot more than some other people might not have to do who are, who are gifted. Now I'm not saying that the ones who are gifted have, don't have to work hard, they still do, but sometimes people, some people just have to do more. I'm, unfortunately I'm one of those people, but it's all right. Um, but if I can be like a person who represents those who are not genetically gifted, so, so be it. Uh, I don't mind doing that. Um, sometimes we just have to do more to achieve the things that we want to achieve. If that means doing more cardio than others, spending more time in the gym, putting more effort into your food, then that's what we have to do. All right, so if you're not, if you're like me and you're not genetically gifted, like don't let that demotivate you. You can still get in decent shape. Okay, so anyway, I'm blabbing on a bit. I think I'm gonna uh, put the camera down now stop blabbing on see you the next clip okay so it's now time to wrap up the video now talking about time you may have seen it earlier in the video 
I've got a new watch from Paul Rich and they are actually the sponsor for this video. If you want to go and check them out, you can check them out at paulrich.com. They are a luxurious watchmaking brand from New York and the range of watches is absolutely amazing. You can get some from men and women. So go and check them out. If you want a discount code, use code SHAWMONTY15. So I'm going to wrap up the video here, guys. If you enjoyed it, please press like. If you haven't subscribed already, get subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.